Hi everyone, our project today is four buttons and a buzzer. Each button will give us a different frequency in the buzzer. So let's simulate. Okay, so let's jump to our page. It's ESP Blockly slash button buzzer. This is the example that we'll be talking about. To start the example, you need to collect all the hardwares that you need to uh, you need to use. Okay, there's some understanding about the button explanation. What is the button, and what are the tune function that will be we will be using in this? This tune function is called LEDC right tone okay so this is the function that we will be using in this example this is the schematic diagram where you see that we have four buttons one of the sides of the two buttons are connected together to the ground okay so keep in mind this and I will show you how to connect it in a minute this is the example this is the real connection the hardware we're using here Arduino Nano. In our other case, we'll be using the ESP32. This is the code that will be we will be using. And keep in mind that we have here three buttons, but in our connection we have four buttons. So I left one button, uh, so the student or the uh, viewer can just do it himself and learn how to program it. Okay, so let's copy the code and jump in. We go to Wokui and we select the ESP32. So this is a new project that we will be building. First, let's collect all of the materials that we need. We need push buttons, four of them. We need a buzzer. And we need a resistor. Before we start, just a quick reminder that the push buttons are connected internally. This side and this side called button one are connected internally. So this is and this side and this side are connected also internally. As you can see from the tags in the pin, button 1 and then 1 point R. Button 1, 1 point I. Button 1, 2 and button 1, 2. So those are connected together. Going to the resistor, we can always change the value of the resistor by going to the diagram JSON and going down to the resistor and just change the value to, for example, 220. As you can see, when I change the value here, the colors of the resistor will change value too. Now, we'll start the coding. I will select all the code and then paste my new code. From the code, we see that we have 5, 18, 19. Those are connected to the buttons. However, to do that, let's start by connecting the ground of the button all together. So it will be easy for us to connect the other pins. Ground. We'll go here. And then from this side, I'll go here. And then from this side, So 
So now I connected all the four patterns to the ground. Now I will connect also the ground side, the, the black side of the buzzer to the resistor and from the resistor back to the ground. Now everything is connected here and ready for me to connect the pins. Pin number five. Let me start by picking pin number five now. Pin number five. Done. Now pin 18. Pin 19. And I'm done. Now let's run the app, the simulation, and see how it's gonna work. This button is not connected. So what's the problem? I forgot to connect the red side of the buzzer. The red side of the buzzer is connected to pin 13. So I'll connect pin 13 here. Like this. Now let me simulate and check. Okay, what's the problem? The button is always on. From a quick search, I can see that this button are connected to the wrong leg of the, uh, the wire is connected to the wrong leg of the button. So to remove that, basically click on the wire, stop the simulation, stop the simulation, click on this wire to remove it. And then again, just to click on this and connect like this. Now I'm done. Let me check my simulation again. Excellent. What I need to do now is to connect this pin, this, this button to pin number two. Stop the simulation. Look for pin number two and then just connect this button. Going back to the code, I need to add this button, button B4. Then I will copy the setup of this button and add a new button, which is input pull up at pin number two. So pin number two is high pulled from the internal resistor. Now I need to read B4. I need to read the uh, pin two and save the value, pin two, and save the value in B4. Now I will also copy else F and paste it here. So else F B four is low, what I needed to do is run all of this code. So I'll start with capital A, I'll change those notes to B, C, D, E. Okay, I will change the value of eight to five. I will change the duration here to 20 just to have a different notes when I press this button.
let's start by simulation let's do the simulation and check my button so this is the code the final code for this program you can always save it and download it if you would like to thank you very much and i hope to see you in a different project.